I'm Dom from Nothing But Thieves and I'm here with the Mustang GT and this is my preset. I started using pedals quite late. I was one of these people who was like, you don't need pedals. You do need pedals. Tube screen was first. Just because I wanted to be able to play quite softly and, and then have the option to, to use my volume knob as like a gain stage and then to go an extra level with the Tube Screamer. Then I started to buy like delays and reverbs and I've just had my latest board done and it's just, I don't want to talk about it, it's, it's sickened a few people at how extensive it is. My guitar tech hates me for that. Sorry Stu. <laughs> also with the amp. As an interface it's incredibly simple. I think the app is just it explained, it's like so easy to work with and laid out beautifully so the thing that I found amazing was that you can integrate the like the pedals and the effects, like you can layer them up quite quite heavily before the amp and after. And then you can actually dial in the parameters within the effects, so you can go even a step further. And if you really want to get into like the finer details, you, you can go that far. But also, if you just want to flick through the presets in there that friend have done, they're all pretty set out, so you don't have to like, you don't want to dive into that world and get really stuck in, it's, it's already done for you on the plate. Everything you'd want to do with an amp or like in a studio, I suppose as well, is, is contained in, in this nice bit of kit. So this preset, I decided to go for probably the most out there sound on, on our latest album. And it's the guitar sound for a song called Live Like Animals. I got stuck in with this and opened up a 57 Bandmaster, which is one of my favorite Fender amps. And started to see what I could put in front of the amp, which is a lot. Um, I put a vibe trem in there first, just to give it this kind of like wobbly feel. This is the whole sound by the way, but you'll hear, you can hear the vib in there working. And it's giving that kind of tremolo vibe. After that, next in the chain is a, is a pitch up and automatically when you put the pitch effect on there, it gives you an octave down. But like I say, you can jump into all the parameters, you can change that. So I ramped it up to an octave up, put the mix up a little bit more so it's slightly more present. If I play a single note, it'll be more prominent and you should be able to hear that extra octave. The other thing I should say about the pitching is the tracking is amazing on this. It doesn't get confused when you're playing chords. I think that's always a big thing for me personally is like, especially with pitch pedals live as well, there can be latency delays and this doesn't have any of that. So after the pitch up, we're going into an overdrive, which is actually really, really nice. Sometimes they can start losing the bottom end and it can be a little bit too toppy, but this is really tasteful. Didn't even have to touch that, it was good out of the box. That's into the amp. Out of the amp goes into a delay. You'll hear that if I play something quite attacky and quick. So I just turned like, that had quite a long uh, delay tail. So I just turned the feedback download and the rate down really quick. So. I think it's like 100 milliseconds or something really quick. And you can just hear that, just giving you a little bit more excitement after each hit. Finally, it was getting a bit noisy, so I decided to put a gate on, and you can, you can noise gate it heavily low, just a touch, and you can just get right, like really stuck in, so any of the like drives that are pushing the amp, and you can, it's just cutting all of it out, so it's just, it's pretty much silent, which is amazing. It just makes life so much easier. So yeah, that's that's the. It's pretty pretty in depth for a, a patch, but it's really cool. I just love that you can layer everything up and get stuck into it so much.